George Douglas, publisher of Kite Fishing Magazine. Today we're going to be talking about noodle rod egg fishing. It's a really strong technique because it allows you to get down to the fish, uh, to be able to detect strikes, and, to, and they really hit these eggs hard. You know, when, it, when you talk about salmon, trout, steelhead, of course eggs are probably the most prominent bait. Uh, they are in the river, they're all over the river as salmon are spawning, as steelhead are spawning, as brown trout spawning. You know, these fish are kicking out eggs off their beds and the river's filled with them. So a lot of times you'll see steelhead and trout just honing in on these eggs and just going around and picking them up. A lot of times you'll see a fish holding and just going around and just picking up eggs as they come off a of bed. So it can be a deadly technique and a lot of times these egg sacks, actually eggs in like a mesh netting, uh, dime size, nickel size, even quarter size, uh, really deadly because you're just drifting them down, you're getting them down to the fish and they just gobble these things up. That mesh netting comes in a lot of different styles and colors. Uh, I prefer the square ones for tying up egg sacks, uh, just put some eggs in, twist it up a bit, get some of that magic thread, wrap it around, just make up a bunch of them. I have an article on my blog that talks about egg cures. Uh, a lot of times I just use borax. Uh, I feel it's one of the best cures out there. Some guys just stick them in the freezer, various ways of doing it. But you want your eggs to be nice and firm get them in that mesh, twist them up, uh, chartreuse, pink, blue, white, there's all different colors out there. I kind of like the white magic thread or sometimes red and have a variety of different colors. Sometimes color is important. D different days of really one color really stand out, which is surprising. You know, you'd think that why is pink hot one day over chartreuse? I don't know, sometimes it's the same pool, just different day, and they're just focused in on that color. So make sure you have a couple different choices to go to. The noodle rod is a unique rod. It's usually 10, 10 and a half, 11 foot long. And it's a long, whippy rod, ultra light, where you can use as little as two pound test. It's used a lot on the Great Lakes, uh, Great Lake tributaries as opposed to West Coast. Due to that extra rod length, you can you have a, a few extra advantages that you normally not have on a shorter rod. It gives you the opportunity to lift your line off the water and just to get a good drift with no line on the water. Uh, also, during the fight, it allows you to, you know, just fight a huge fish uh, with with your rod. It's, it's just not your line's not going to break because when that fish just gives that resistance that would normally break your line this rod is so long and whippy the rod's just gonna bend more and more rather than your line breaking. The noodle rod is used with the spinning reel and there's make sure you have a really good reel uh, there's there's I, you know those new Shimano's are really good uh, you know just make sure your drag is a really strong drag because these fish really can burn a drag out quick. The technique goes as follows. You always want to cast up river slightly. So 12 o'clock, depending on what side of the river you're on, you're either going to be 11 or 1 o'clock, you're going to be casting out slightly up river. And then you're going to put your finger on the line. Click your bail, finger on the line as fast as you can. You're going to have enough weight to where your drift gets down in front of you right about when it comes 12 o'clock. So you're casting out, it's drifting down, you start feeling it tick right where it's about in front of you. If not, you might need a little bit more weight or cast up just slightly upriver. Don't cast upriver too much or you'll get hung up. Now you're just feeling, you just tip, tip, tip. You just feel that split shot hitting those rocks. And you're just waiting for something to give a little, a little something different. Detecting a strike from a steelhead is a lot harder uh, with 
you know, flies or something smaller and are just sipping them in. Egg sacs, you usually can tell. But just try and feel that strike. And uh, when in doubt, check it. If you think it's a strike, give it a pull. And what you want to do is a nice, basically holding it straight out. Your rod is pretty much straight out. And you're drifting down with the current. Down with your drift. You're casting up here. As it drifts down, you're going to point that rod at it just as it goes down river. That's really important because you don't want to be up here and you're lying down there. You're never going to get the proper drift. Have to drift down with it. When you feel that strike, your hand is going to go up by your ear as fast as you possibly can. Boom! Hook set. You want to do it in such a fashion that you hear a whipping sound in that noodle rod. Okay, and that's going to be your hook set. And what I use is these little hooks. Must add 37132s, uh, size 10, size 12. I like these new must add signatures. Uh, those egg hooks that they make is really good. Uh, these, these little hooks will zip right into the fish and usually that first hook set will bury it. I usually give a little bit more uh, after the hook set if it's the fish doesn't scream down or it's a good opportune time to do it just to give a little bit more just to make sure that metal is buried in the fish. But basically you're drifting down, you're giving a hook set and when that fish is on now it goes time to fighting and we're really going to break down the fight in some in some future uh, shows but generally speaking that noodle rod you want to make sure that rod is really bent you don't want to be pointing the rod at the fish uh, so use that big 11 and a half foot bend and uh, really give that fish the opportunity to bend that rod. If not, your line's gonna break. So use that rod to your advantage. Tom Burke, he's a he's as cold steel guide service. Tom is really a, an expert at noodle rod egg fishing. He puts his boat in strategic places where normally guys are just floating it over. He's in in the little pockets. He's in the fast water. He knows the seams. He knows where the fish are. He just puts you in, he knows where the clear drifts are and, would, and try to avoid the snags. Basically puts you right on fish and just teach you how to drift this, this technique. Uh, we're going to run this clip right here and it's going to show you uh, how Tom was doing it with us when we were shooting this film. Is he in the anchor? Gar? Yeah. 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 Yeah
catch them three ways. You'll catch them right on the edge of the current, and then that one you got was right underneath the main current, then you can get them over on that side of the current too, and you just keep your ship up and drift over there with this guy. Yeah. enjoyed that clip that was Gary Porter fishing with Tom by the way and uh, like I said Tom put him right on fish and you can see the technique that Tom uses with the finger on his line really trying to detect those strikes he uses some split shot above a fluorocarbon leader a few feet just getting it down to the fish he doesn't go crazy about you know any special way of hooking the egg just get your egg sack, bust a couple eggs, put the hook through, just get them down to the fish, get them in the right spots, and you're going to catch some fish. Remember to click the subscribe button and subscribe to our shows. It's free, and uh, we'll see you in a couple weeks. Tight lines. Thank you.